All right, welcome to 52 Questions. I'm Shannon Weber, Director of Hive, and every year Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, their partners, and providers. And in 2018, we're bringing you one, one of those frequently asked questions each week in video format. For this week's question, how does PEP work? I've come to the National PEP Line to get Dr. Carolyn Chu, the medical director, to answer that question. So if you could tell us how does PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis, work? Well, a lot of what we know about PEP is mostly based on studies that were done a good while ago um, in non-human models. Um, but what we think happens is that the HIV PEP medications really stop an early HIV infection from happening at the route of exposure. And we have a pretty good understanding of what happens sort of over those first hours to days. And by using the medications that are effective, um, getting them on board quickly, it really is able to sort of halt the first uh, phase of infection so that doesn't spread uh, throughout the body. And do we have, are there any studies now that help us know, so you said this was old data from animal studies. Mm -hmm. Do you have, are there studies now that show us that PEP really does work? Sure, I mean, there, there's definitely been um, any number of studies done um, since the 90s looking at PEP, for example, for healthcare associated exposures. Um, lots of evidence showing that it definitely is effective if started um, soon. Um, and from that, um, it makes sense to consider that PEP could be effective at preventing sexual transmission or transmission through shared needles. Um, so um, it's really it hasn't been a huge leap of faith, and I think um, that's part of what we do on the PEP line to, to let clinicians know when they ought to be talking with patients and clients about PEP. All right, great. Thanks for joining us. Um, join us again next week where we'll answer the question, when should I use PEP? Have a great week.